Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. Today is June 29th. It's the 29th day of 30 Blue Inks 30 Days. It is the penultimate day of 30 Blue Inks 30 Days. And also for me, it is day 90 of a different blue ink every day. I started April 1st and I've had a different blue ink every day from April 1st until now. So when I finish tomorrow on June 30th, I will have done 91 different blue inks every day. And it's a little bittersweet. I'm a little sad that it's almost over. But on the other hand, I'm kind of glad I'm not going to have to use a different ink every day. Because some of these inks I've really enjoyed and I've wanted to use them for more than just a day. So in July, I'm looking forward to using inks longer, more than just a day at a time. So, um, first of all, I would like to talk about my pen for today. No, I'm sorry. First of all, um, I just have to say that when you think you're recording a video and you're not actually recording it, that is really unfortunate. Because <laughs> I sat down to edit my video and um, there was no video to be edited. So here we are again, re-recording my video. Um, does this happen to you often? I don't know. It's, it's happened to me once or twice. I just keep having the technical flubs. I think it's just all part of the learning process. So anyway, I am redoing my video and um, we are just going to zip right on through. If it's possible for me to zip. So. Our pen for today is this lovely Schaefer Star Wars pen. This is my Yoda pen. And um, it's not blue. It's green and brown. And not my favorite shades of green and brown. But I felt like at this close to the end of my quest, I needed a little help from Yoda. A little of his wisdom. And a little of his force to be with me so I could complete this challenge. And I really like this pen. It has a couple of quotes from Yoda. My favorite one is, do or do not, there is no try. And that is probably my favorite quote ever. It is so true. And on the other side, it says, fear is the path to the dark side. Also true. So um, I just thought this would be a fun pen to use on nearly the last day. And what better ink to go with a Star Wars pen than some space themed ink. So my ink for today is this Nemesine Pleiades Blue Black. And I'm not sure of the history of the company. Um, I actually found this ink. I have several inks. But I found the inks on the Birmingham website. Birmingham Pens. So I think they used to be Nemesign and then they became Birmingham or Nemesign was absorbed into Birmingham. I'm not sure. I think it's the same people. I think they changed their name. Anyway, I'm not sure. But I found these inks on clearance on the Birmingham website. And I bought the ones that they had available, but there were other ones that they were sold out of. And I'm sorry that I wasn't able to get the other ones, but I'm very happy to have the ones that I do have. So I thought I would just mention those briefly. This is the Pleiades uh, Blue Black. And I have little dots on top of them too, so you can kind of see the color. And then this is Neptune Blue, which I think is, is kind of close to the blue black. And then we have um, Haley's Comet, which is a nice purple. And then we have Coruscant Blue, which is also kind of purpley. So those are my lovely Nemesine inks. So the one that we are using today is the Pleiades Blue Black. And I remember seeing this on the Mountain of Ink website. Um, Shading is my favorite ink property, so I was looking on her website at the different shading inks, and this was listed as one of the highest shaders. It shaded in the most nib sizes. And I saw the name, and I thought, gee, I have some Nemesine inks. Let me see if I have this one. And what do you know? I did have it. So I really haven't used it enough to know if it shades a lot, but just the little bit that I have used it, I haven't noticed a lot of shading. So hopefully after I have used it today, 
I will see some of that shading because I do love shading in my ink. So the next thing I did on my first video was talk about my ink swatches. So this ink swatch I made in my first batch of ink swatches when I guess I really didn't know what I was doing. I mean, do you have to know how to make an ink swatch? Not really, but you know, I, I don't feel like I quite had a knack for it. So I decided to make another swatch on camera. And um, so here it is. And this one, I did the little drip that I've, I've been enjoying doing lately. So this one doesn't have a drip on it, but um, I think they look very similar. And I also mentioned the fact that <laughs> this is the first batch of ink swatch cards that I made. And this is the second batch of ink swatch cards that I made. And this one I used one corner rounder and this one used a, a different corner rounder. And it drives me slightly mad that the corners of my ink swatch cards don't match. Only slightly mad. So I'm sure nobody else would notice that except for me. But um, if you're interested in making swatch cards, um, I will link the video that I made. And also, um, Chris Science is where I got the idea from. She has a video on making swatch cards, too. So, really fun to do, to sit and watch television and make swatch cards. And um, I'm not kidding, it's really fun. I had a great time. So, if you need some, let me know. I'll hook you up. Okay. So, here were, here are the two swatches that we had to work with. And then I did a writing sample in my Claire Fontaine notebook. And I don't know how close I can get and before we lose focus, but I'm looking at this ink and, and I'm not seeing a lot of shading. I don't know. Um, I feel like Claire Fontaine paper usually shows off shading pretty well. Just as an example, here is the Twisby Sapphire Blue from a few days ago, and that seems to have more shading. Oh my goodness, is this in focus? I'm so sorry. But I see some shading in that, but I don't know. Maybe it's the paper. Maybe the paper is just not showing the shading very well. But I do remember writing with other inks in this notebook, you know, on this paper, and really enjoying the shading. I think California Teal was the first one where I, I I kind of had my shading moment when I understood what shading was and it was such a magical moment which is why I love California Teal so much. It's so beautiful. Um, so anyway, um, I did my little writing sample and I thought it might be fun to do another little writing sample on camera. Um, I've been posting pictures of my daily inks on Instagram. Um, it's This is the first month I have used YouTube, or the first month I have posted videos to YouTube. And it's also the first month I have posted photos to Instagram. And I've really been enjoying looking at other people's photos. And there's um, one man that I've been following. His name is Peter and I can't remember his last name, but one of his favorite practice sentences to show off his ink is, my hovercraft is full of eels, which I think is just hilarious. I think he said it was from Monty Python's Flying Circus. Of course it is. Where else would it be from? So um, since I've already done my uh, lazy dog writing sample, I thought I might do my eel writing sample. All right, so a little homage to Peter on Instagram. Um, I will link his handle down below so you can take a look at his Instagram if you're interested. He posts lots of in, in, lots of interesting fountain pen pictures. So there is our writing sample. I'm still not sure about the um, shading. I like the color. I think it's a pretty color, but I don't know about the shading. Okay, so let's move on to our swatches. So here is our new swatch card, and here are the comparisons. So I've got this Private Reserve Ebony Blue. I keep pulling this out, and it, it looks green. It does not look blue to me. This is green ink. 
And I think it's it's a little sampler set that I got over at the Norfolk Stationery. And I think there is an ebony green ink, which doesn't look anything like this. So it's very odd. But anyway, I just thought I would show him because, you know, I wanted to show it. But anyway, not a match at all. Not even close. So here are some darker inks. I was thinking blue-black. It might be a dark ink, but it's really not that dark. But these these are definitely dark. The Diamine Regency Blue and the Diamine Oxford Blue. A dark blue, a dark kind of purpley, blurple, both with lots of beautiful sheen. Um, this is not as dark, and there's no sheen. So those are definitely not matches. And here we have Diatramentus Indigo Blue. That's getting a little bit closer in tone and saturation. Again, sheen. I don't see any sheen on our Pleiades Blue Black. Here is Private Reserve Midnight Blues, which is a lovely dark blue with some red sheen. And here is Noodler's Midnight Blue, which is another dark blue with some red sheen. And over the course of this ink journey that I've been taking for the past 90 days, um, I have, I've gone through a lot of ink. I mean, I, I do have a, a, a very large, embarrassingly large ink collection, which I don't use a lot of. So I don't want to say I've been scraping the bottom of the barrel because <laughs> that sounds terrible. I don't mean it in a negative way at all, but... You know, the first month I used all of my favorite inks, my fun inks, and the second month I used the ones that were almost as fun. So this month I've been trying out those inks that I didn't really think I would like, and I'm not sure how I ended up with them. And, you know, they've just been kind of sitting around for months or years, and I've never used them. So this has just forced me to use my collection, and I'm surprised at how many of these inks I have really enjoyed, especially these darker colors. I never thought I would like these dark blues, but this Noodler's Midnight Blue is gorgeous. And here is the Robert Oster Great Southern Ocean. That is gorgeous. I love it. Now, these two are kind of similar to each other, but definitely very far away from our Pleiades Blue Black. And here is Diamine Blue Black. Again, closer in saturation, closer in tone. But this one's bluer, this one's grayer, and this one has sheen and no sheen. Here is Robert Oster Evening Sapphire. Much closer in ink, I think. But, I don't know, did this one have any sheen? I don't think it did. And I remember this one had some... Strange behavior in my pen. Here's another ink that had some strange behavior in my pen, the Pelican Edelstein Tanzanite. Um, now these inks are, are looking pretty similar, but this Tanzanite has lots and lots of red sheen. These two are, I think, more shading. I don't see any sheen at all. And here is Pilot Orochizuku Sukiyo. Um, kind of a... Definitely bluer, but again, that kind of soft, less saturated color. And here is Pilot Orochizuku Shinkai. And I think that's looking very close to our ink of the day. And here is Waterman Mysterious Blue. So I think these three inks are probably the closest ones in my collection. Um, so... I think the Waterman Mysterious Blue might be a bit bluer, so I think Shinkai is probably the closest one to Pleiades Blue Black. Um, this one might have a hint of sheen to it, just a little bit, but I really don't see any sheen on this Pleiades Blue Black at all, but definitely, definitely similar in color. All right, so... Um, that was my recap of the ink of the day, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will join me tomorrow for my very last daily blue ink. I hope I can make it. I think with Yoda's help, I think I'll be able to make it to the end. So um, join me tomorrow and see which ink I choose for my last day. And um, I will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.